Hello, Mr. Thipal Sandra. Hello. Cymru Beats, uh, I, I, I finally got to say that right after yeah. Gaz has instructed me <laughs> on, uh, on how to pronounce Cymru. <laughs> so you've got a beautiful collection of uh, synthesizers here. You're playing tonight, right? Yep, I am playing tonight, yep. So, um, a lot of banana plug action. Well, yeah, I've got um, a Synthon Phoenix here from around, uh, I think this was made in about 1999. Um, there's, I think there's only 60 or perhaps even 75 of these in the world. Yeah, uh, Sonar Traffic have got one, haven't they? I know that because we filmed something in Utrecht with, yeah. very, with, a, yeah. with a similar... Well, I used to have three of them. When I was in Coyle, we did have three of them, but I, I sold one, so I've got two of these left. Um, What's so special about them? I mean, they um, look well, lots of real estate, which is nice. Yeah, uh, the, the best thing about them is, is a very, there's a lot of stuff in a very small space. You've got three oscillators, three... Uh, and the. The, the oscillators aren't all the same. You've got uh, three filters, uh, three envelope generators, two ring modulators, um, lots of things like slew limiters and... Uh, Which is unusual in because yeah. it's a single unit, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's all, it's all one, one thing, but it, it's all complete. Nothing is pre-patched in it. You have to patch everything. Um, and it's just a really neat device. But it's got a sound of its own. It's very, the filters are very organic sounding. They're very squelchy. It's just what what about duties it. will it be? Uh, will it be performing tonight in your set? Um, well, it does a number of things because I use it in combination with this. I kind of tend to use Eurorack and Banana stuff all together as one system. So uh, I brought this just because it's very functionally dense, and I didn't want to have loads of Eurorack because I don't have any cases. So I thought I'd bring this and the Surge, which would largely do the function of a lot of Eurorack stuff. So it's doing very, I guess, are you using separate voices separately and, and having yeah, multiple there's, parts there's, there's all sorts of, uh, you know, you can see I've got different sounds set up in different areas of it. And th so largely the Surge uh, and this Eurorack stuff here gets fed into this and then it all gets fed to my mixer over here. Uh, hold on, let's come back to this third, because this is something, I mean, it's, it's yellowed with age. It yeah. looks like a very beautiful old lady. This one is, uh, this panel here is about 1974. Um, that would have all been hand-built. Uh, well, it looks like paper on, just sort is, of stuck on and varnished yes, or something. Yes, it is it? paper with a, like, um, just a, 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 a like a plastic film over the top of it. Um, just sounds really good. Very wonderful filter there that's, that's really just amazing sounding. And the oscillator, the NTO, the most stable oscillator in the world, never goes out of tune. Really? You can leave it set up, stick a Peterson strobe tuner on it, come back, four hours later it will not have drifted. How long does it take to warm up? 15 minutes. Okay. Absolutely brilliant. So what's so special about Surge? Because I hear it's spoken of in like reverential terms. It's just the patching. I, I think I think I don't know if it's the, the the modules themselves, but the way you, if you if you get used to working with banana system patching, it's just so much quicker than having uh, uh, three point five millimeter jacks. Because you just piggyback. Like yeah, you never have to use multiples. Everything you, you know, rather than having to go to a multiple every time you want to split a signal, you can just you can just you know. Uh, whack, whack, whack a plug into the back of another so into another. Well, plug. you could use those stackable cables, but are, they, are, are these, the actual inputs and outputs designed to have multiple? Yeah, yeah. And you know, the nice thing about these is they just make really good connection. You know, they, they, whereas they, when they when you put them in a socket, they feel very firm. They don't they don't wobble around. I find a lot of Eurorack stuff. The sockets become faulty after a while. These never, you know. This is 1974. The sockets are as good as the day they were made. You know, right, they, okay. they just don't wear out. And it looks like down here you've got a, a, a different age. Version. Yeah, this is a, another surge. I had this one custom built in uh, 1999, uh, and this was this panel was designed to my spec. Well, you know, the module complement was designed to my specifications because surge don't make individual yeah, modules. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. It's not modular. It's not modular. It's like a rack. Yeah, yeah. They, it, well, it is modular in that, that nothing's connected, but you have to choose what modules you want. Right, in a, sing, they, it's a single yeah, unit, module. and then they make it for you to be like that. So, uh, yeah. So it's uh, so that's the combination of stuff I wanted, and um, it, it performs kind of a lot of utility functions, which is which is great. So there's you've got things like wave multipliers in there, which uh, 
add harmonics to, to, to sine waves, if you like. Frequency shifter, um, amazing resonant equaliser here that's got a, a real sound of its own. Is that just a particularly high Q EQ then, effectively? Yeah, yeah, and you can make it resonate, so it'll, you can ping it and it'll, it'll kind of uh, resonate quite a bit. Um, and then a, a, a comparator that um, uh, you can divide the ratio at, of the clock output, um, uh, a smooth and step function generator that generates all kind of random voltages, and then two envelope generators down the bottom. Uh, so. I should add that we, this is all set up for your performance later, which yeah, we is, will yeah. be, uh, if, you, if you're watching, you won't be watching this today, but uh, it means hopefully we'll get to hear that in, in action, because yeah. it, it's yeah. not the sort of thing you can break out and go, this is what it sounds like without breaking your patch down. <laughs> Just in case there's anybody moaning yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. I also cheat quite a bit. I use a Nord Modular. So, um, I, I love the Nord Modular. It's, yeah, a lot of people really, really it, dig it. Well, it's great. It's got a sound of its own. And you can store enormously complex patches. And although, you know, all this is wonderful, but it's great to be able to have some kind of degree of repetition or be able to reproduce stuff well because you you, you plays li you play live with uh, yeah, Liz yeah. Fraser and so, Coyle and and and, 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 and he, I mean I guess you're probably known for your so, joy I guess you're probably known for using this kind of stuff yeah Do people w want you in the band to use this kind of thing yes, yeah, yeah. So, until they realize how difficult it yeah. is to, yeah. <laughs> well especially when people expect you to do the same thing every night you know if you're working with it in a very musical context and people want you know the same thing every time this is the great way to go because you've got all the flexibility plus you can store the patches right, um, I got I've also and, I, and yes I mean this is <laughs> ever since I was a kid I always wanted one of these yeah. because any synth in a suitcase yeah. is, is and it's got speakers which is every synth should have speakers because you can you can make it make a noise and it's you know straight away it's going to do something you know, not that it's doing anything at the moment, but <laughs> somebody else has been playing with it. But uh, yeah, that is doing something. So I mean, like you find that people there are people have these, and they tend to become they almost become evangelistic about about them. Are you are you the same? I mean, does it does it mean that much to you, or is it? Um, I love them, um, but I've, I've, it's it, it, it's a kind of. It's a very much a little world of its own, so um, it doesn't really talk to anything else, and it doesn't stay in tune that well, and it's quite hard to play it from a keyboard, because these two knobs control the, the oscillator scaling, so it's, it's very easy in the, in the process of going from another knob to, to, to put the whole thing out of tune, but it does sound great, and it's got a sound of its own, and. I, I love it, and you never quite know what it's going to do. And so. is, it, is it performing the more sort of esoteric science fiction type yeah, sounds? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I have used it in a, in a sort of you know, um, diatonic context, but uh, very good. But um, generally, the oscillator is really hard to keep in tune, even they've got even though they've got these yeah, these know, vernier they, dials. Have on they got them. locks on them, those ones. No, they haven't got locks on them. But even with these. Even the slightest turn puts it out of tune. So, yeah, and, and, and the other thing you find is that the, the patch pins aren't terribly reliable. So, you know, what a patch you set up, set, set up one day will be totally different the next day. Right. So, yeah. And also, um, different colours are different resistance. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's a correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, the white ones are, are, are the. These, the white ones are more expensive, apparently. I don't know why, but... It's the dilithium <laughs> crystals. Yeah, I, think they're <laughs> I think they're made to higher tolerances. So, uh, but it's a, it's a great device. And um, I mean, even when I do shows with just the Nord, I always take the AKS as well, because it's, uh, it's a really good thing. And it's very quick to use. You can change patches on it very quickly once you know your way around it. So there is a laptop in here. There is a laptop. I'm running main stage. Um, and I generate some stuff off that. I also use it as an effects processor because obviously I don't have any reverbs here, so I feed everything back into the mixer and I use main stage as a, a, a digital reverb. So is there a sequencing aspect to what you're doing here? Or is there, is, a, is there a sequencer going on here? Not really. There's little bits of sequence stuff, but largely I'll just trigger sequences from... I, I, I've got some sequences stored in the Nord. Okay. I've got a couple of others stored in here. Uh, but generally, there's not, uh, most of what I do is not rhythmic at all. 
So what's the, uh, how are you interfacing between computer and digital world and analog world? Have you got like CV con converters or how are you? The, no, nothing is, nothing is, uh, there's no MIDI, there's no uh, sequence CVs at all. Ah, okay. Yeah. So Textural, am I thinking textural? Very textural, yeah. Okay, yep, yep. And, and I know you've got one of these little CME poly aftertouch keyboards. Yeah, I've got something that. very unusual yeah. here. What's this? It looks this like is a, kind a This is a Seat Lombard Tocante, made by the same guy that makes these. An American guy called Peter Blasser, who re runs the company Seat Lombard. He makes, so this is a, like a, a little touch synth. You have to, I've got very dry hands, but if you've you got to wet it, your fingers. You've got to wet your it's, fingers. It's, it's not 240 volts, is it? If you can hear that. Hold up, Joe. Hold, Hold up. up. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a, it noise. sounds like a dying capacitor. It's a dying. Well, that's the noise it makes. But so it makes variations on dying capacitor sounds, and that's what I use it for. Excellent. <laughs> but it's quite. Um, there's a lot of harmonics in there, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I run it through um, clouds to generate big kind of washes uh, of, of, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. of high frequency. Nonsense. And so. you were saying earlier it's solar powered. It's solar powered. Yeah, you have to leave it by the window to charge it up. And it's also got a little speaker under here, but it makes so much noise that I have to block it off with gaffer tape. Right. <laughs> but it's got an output, and I feed that straight into here. So. Okay. Excellent. So um, I'm looking forward to the set tonight. I mean, where Thank can people much. find out about more about your music and about you? And where? Um, where? If you go to thypulsandra.co.uk, you can. Uh, Look at my website and uh, buy all my records and... Uh, of course, twice. Yeah, twice, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure.